Hey YouTubers, it's uh, part two of the uh, 1948 Mercury M47 uh, pickup resto mod. Uh, as you can see, I made a uh, vent cover, a new vent cover there for the top. I put some brass bolts in there, they look pretty sweet. Uh, I only got so much done so far, not not a heck of a lot, but I got some things done. You know, when you got a family, you only have so much time to do things right, and uh, kind of limited on time, but... I did some uh, reinforcements there to some welds here and there to make this thing stronger. You know, it almost did fall apart bringing it back out of the bush on the slat. I'm surprised it came back in one piece. I made an iron cross there for the firewall. Uh, I raised the firewall up because it's going to be setting on, well, you know, a more modern uh, transmission, right? So the firewall did have to be raised. I had to weld a bunch of new metal in there and whatnot. And, and I still got to do uh, the roof along there. That's going to be a pain in the butt. Don't move that one. That's going to be the biggest challenge on this thing because when it sat in the bush, of course, somebody smashed the windows out of it, right? And the snow blew up underneath here and rotted all this out. If you can see that, it's a mess. We'll get to it eventually in time. Uh, I got a 1942 Mercury uh, dash for this thing because the dash is rotten in it. I did get uh, somewhat done on the uh, cowl side panels. You can see there. Sorry about the crappy lighting. Didn't grind the wells down there yet, but. I got that done on both sides. I'll show you the other side. But the truck is coming along nicely. We'll eventually get it done. Everything takes time. I had to weld this thing back on here. Uh, thing broke right off, right? I had to weld a new piece of melon behind. Zip it back on there. And there's the other new cowl side panel in there. God, I'm tired. Um, yeah, it's coming along nicely. We'll get it done eventually. Uh, I will make a part three when there's quite a bit more done and there's a bunch of the, the old metal there, the old crap all cut out. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, as I said, sorry about the crappy lighting. Uh, you should probably get another one of those lights in here, you can barely see what you're doing, right? But anyways, uh, stay tuned for part three.